they're drilling a metal through my leg <laughs> to pull on the bone to straighten it and they weren't going to knock me out so yeah i was a little bit terrified <laughs> to say the least hey people of earth i'm kimani and welcome to my channel hauling this together where we do baking videos decorating tutorials lifestyle vlogs and just about anything else that has to do with my life that i find interesting enough to share on the internet so if you like those kind of content and randomness then please consider subscribing to my video giving me a thumbs up and leaving a nice comment down below in the comment section because why wouldn't you want them before we get into that i know you're probably wondering why am i seeing this video on a wednesday you don't post on wednesdays so as i mentioned a few videos ago i plan on uploading twice per week going forward so i'll be posting on wednesdays and on saturdays at 2 p.m so she says so as i promised in my last video the next three videos will be my hospital vlog so this is the first two weeks of my hospitalization i've been editing this video for the past three weeks and not because it's a long one but because it was just such an emotional one for me i had to re-watch clips and stuff that i took in the moment right this is me looking at myself in that moment and reliving what i was feeling based on what i'm saying makes sense makes sense so that was a little bit hard for me but i made it through which is why you're seeing this video yeah what is that i don't know i guess that's new if you haven't watched my accident story time where I explain to you what happened, how I broke my leg and pretty much everything that happened, there's a lot of laughing, there's a lot of crying, there's a lot of me joking through my pain, ups and downs, times when I was excited to wake up and be, you know, grateful for small things. But there were a lot more times when I was just not having a great day because I was in pain and there was nothing I could do about it or not much I could do about it. There was this one situation where a nurse had me crying the entire night because of an unpleasant and encounter. So all of that was packed into this. As I said before, don't forget to like, share, comment and subscribe because why wouldn't you want to do that? I'm getting up close and personal. Though I tried not to make the video too graphic, there are a few things that might be hard to watch or hard for some viewers. It does show at some point uh, a, a metal through my leg. Bear that in mind. Also, there's a lot of crying, screaming, painful, groaning. So if, if that's something that's going to be hard for you to see or to watch, then you have your warning. Yeah, but if you're up for all that, then come with me for this journey. Well, I've already gone through it, but you know, come along with me anyways. Okay, so this is day one at Percy Junior Hospital in Spalding. This is May 4th, about 2 a.m. when I came back from Mandeville where I did my x-rays and I was told that both my legs were broken and so they were wrapping my left leg, which is what you're seeing, along with a lot of emotions, a lot of tears and a lot of laughter. <laughs> <laughs> So as you can see they had to lift my leg, straighten it and have it at an angle so they could wrap it. This is my left leg but they also had to do that with my right leg which is the one that was for sure broken. So just imagine the pain. When I tell people that I've been laughing since the night of the accident, this is exactly what I mean. In the midst of me feeling pain, I was laughing through it all. <laughs> at this point even though i was filming i didn't plan on doing a video like this i just wanted to document what was going on to send to my family and stuff so now this is just a compilation of those videos it wasn't until later in the week that i decided to do this vlog so they finished my legs i went went to the ward at about 3 30. guys my nurse reached <laughs> okay so this was a couple hours later still day one and joan came and then mommy came after because they had to bring me stuff and make sure i was okay so this is future kimani talking when i went to the hospital and i was told that my leg is broken and then i heard that both legs were broken in my tiny brain it just meant they're going to cast me i'm going to be in the hospital for like a week and my leg would heal after a while maybe i couldn't walk for a month or two boy was i fooled so this is thursday 
got the pain to do the procedure which I thought would have been done the following Friday and I got my second x-ray which said that my leg wasn't broken anymore or wasn't at all I don't know and they also cut off the cast of that one so Okay, so after the worst ride of my life, I finally got to Mandeville Regional Hospital where they sent me to x-rays and then I got to see the doctor where they briefed me on my surgery. This is day three, the Saturday my sister got on the first flight out of the US to come and see me and make sure that I had everything that I needed for my stay. And then, this was a Sunday, day four, when I realized that my broken leg, which is my right leg, was four inches shorter than what it should be. So this is me trying to get it on camera. However, I couldn't sit up or move to get any angles. And so the best way I thought to show it was to swing my left leg behind my right leg to show some level of perspective. But it didn't really work the way I thought. Jai, say hi to the camera. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> Ali, I know you can't read up. I know you have to say hi. Well, I realize it's a main shoulder. Scratch up. And I heal. Basically. It was so sore. Can you see? Can you see? Today is Monday, which means that it's been five days since I have been dead here. Hey, lovely people. So, today has been six days since I've been in the hospital, and I decided today that I'm going to do a check in every day to see where we're at. I think right now I've had like 25 injections. Um, today I'm doing the first part of my surgical processes so there will be drilling that in my leg and then adding like 20 pounds of weight to pull my my bone down to straighten it because right now it's at like a cross section um i'm going to show you guys my leg now and then we're going to you know check in after this is what my leg looks like um the cast comes all the way up to my groin area i'm a little scared i'm a lot nervous i'm hopeful that it will go well last night i was having a really bad night i was having some swelling in the leg it literally felt like it was 10 times heavier than it was days before um and it felt like someone was like sitting on my knee and bending it the opposite way of you know how a joint should bend um and i was feeling some stabbing pain and sensation and it was just very very uncomfortable which is why like they barred my leg to keep it somewhat straight because the bone is very messed up okay so this was tuesday in the afternoon the doctor came and she had to numb my skin however she had to do it twice because she kept doing it and i kept feeling everything i literally felt when she sliced my leg and she's like okay that's not good anyways this is what my leg looked like after and they tied on the weights I had 18 pounds on my traction, which was to, you know, gradually pull my bone straight. So that's the structure. So it's Wednesday, May 10th, and it's like 5.18 right now, AM. Just woke up. I was in so much pain last night. I had to be drugged. I need to fall asleep. My ankle feels like it's about to snap as well. So when the cast was on, it was kind of bent to the right of it. Now that the cast is off, it's bent to the left a lot. Last night I was having some serious pain in my back because I'm pretty much upside down. Not really but yeah. So my legs are in the air. My head is down. So I'm literally at an angle like this. Okay so this is what my leg looked like. Two things to note here. One you can see that my leg is two different colors where the break is was super dark because of the restrictive you know circulation and two you can also see at my knee how there's a big dip which is why I felt that my knee was about to snap. So yeah that explains a lot. You can also kind of see how my ankle is bent to the left side. I couldn't straighten it and that's why that felt like it was going to snap. Also you are not a Jamaican if your mother no come come rub you down with consecrated olive oil. <laughs> 
You can also see how my foot bend up in the ass, my ankle, my shin, my knee, and my thigh in all different directions at this point. You think say, having a cast and having an itch is horrible? Try having a broken leg that's in four pieces and no way to move it when you're having an itch underneath because you've been laying in the one position for over a week with no ventilation, no movement, no breaks, a lot of sweat and a lot of disgustingness. Like, ew. Not me here sleeping because them drug me. And somebody come with me. I'm so scared. A gift on somebody. My aunt had a custom cushion delivered to me at the hospital that reads, "Auntie loves you, but Jesus loves you more." And I thought I was so cute. Yeah, I met one personal staff in Oja. I got a few gifts that day. As I mentioned, my aunt sent the cushion. My friend Cythria sent me a big bag of inca pads i didn't even ask her for it and then that white bag at the side was just a gift from some people who came to the hospital and just randomly gave gifts to the patients um and i thought that was really sweet so today is the 12th of may <clears throat> it's my clinic day let's see how it goes <laughs> This is also the second time I went to Mandeville thinking I would get transferred, but they didn't have bed space so I was sent back home. This is after I was moved up a lot. Every time I move, my leg gets messed up and my bone gets messed up more and this is just how scrunched up my leg was looking at this point. My friend Amelia just came to see me. Also, my friend Jervy, who works at the hospital, just came to see me with her mom. Um, so my surgery has been pushed again. Surgery money was paid. My donors for blood will go on Monday. Okay, so graphic content up ahead. This is what my leg looked like when they took off the gauze. So this was the first time I was seeing it, actually seeing the metal through my bone. As you can see, it was bleeding a bit. Um, as I mentioned, like I couldn't straighten my legs and so I had to have sandbags underneath to keep it stable. Today is Mother's Day. I want pretty dress today. Mommy said no night to my thing today, okay? I was able to um, half bathe myself. I'm here now waiting to get my juxes. I'm currently at 46, so I think I'm getting two this morning. Guys, look who it is! <laughs> Hi, Daddy! Chicks! Chicks! Hi, Chicksy! So I got a few visits, but both my babies had to give me window visits because they weren't allowed inside. So this was a pretty rough and emotional night. I was very mistreated by a nurse. Um, I won't explain what happened, but I took out my phone to do a video and no words came. Like, I was crying the entire night and I just couldn't find words to explain what had happened and how I was feeling in that moment. That was literally one of the worst nights in the hospital. And it didn't have anything to do with pain. Hello. Okay, so it is Tuesday, May 16th. I'm doing okay. Uh, so I can sit up, but I have to use my hand as support. I'm bending my knee so I can have that added support as well. Last night, a nurse made me cry. Yeah, the first since I've been here, um, she just was not very kind patients in the hospital were already at a vulnerable point it's already hard enough without nurses that are mean and so i really had a bad night last night and so much so that it made me cry yeah it wasn't a great night um plus i was in a lot of pain and because of the incident i didn't even tell them that i was in pain and so i kind of just helped it out like a champ so i was sleeping today and the physical therapist came and he touched my toe on the broken leg and of course my jump up my leg a broken leg went like this but it's tied down with the weight so like i was in a lot of pain he was like okay so uh, that happened and i can feel your pain from your face <laughs> big up to my whole family there are some people who they've been doing it like mommy and michelle and auntie joan keisha has not missed a beat there are other family members who haven't like been here but they have been calling mommy's here every single 
day twice or in the morning like 6 30 to 7. this morning she brought me tea and porridge and bananas and mangoes mind you hospital serves because she wants to make sure that i get something super early and that's actually hot and then she comes back at four michelle takes her back and forth um and she comes as well and to Joanne is just the same. If mommy can't come, she'll fill in that space. So Keisha got this box of 72 diapers. 72? This is quilted adult briefs. I am in some seeds pain right now. I just asked for some drugs. I can't. I can't even move. I moved all the pillows like that to see if that would help. It didn't. I had stood up, it didn't. I had it flat, it didn't help. Try to straighten but it did never help. My try to bend the unbroken leg, it never helped. Like I don't, I don't know what to do. <laughs> Who's that? Is that my chica letter? I don't even know how this happened, but the metal tore my skin and it hurt like crazy. Okay, kind of dark. Apologies. It's 5 a.m. Oh, I'm going to my hotel this morning and hopefully today I'm going to be transferred. I've gone twice before and I said goodbye because I don't have any bed space. So I'm hoping that today is a day that they have bed space. My sister tried to do everything that she could do from her and to see if she could call to make sure that I don't get sent back here because if I get sent back here then my surgery is pushed by another week. Because if I go today and I get to stay there today then my surgery will be next week Thursday. So I'm hoping that I get everything done today. I feel so sore. Got fluids last night because the bottom number of my pressure, my blood pressure was really low. Okay so later that day I actually got transferred to Mandeville which I'll pick up on in the next video. Part 2. Okay guys, so that is the end of this video. Whatever your feelings are, let me know down below in the comment section. I'll try my best to keep updating you guys on my progress. Thank you for stopping by. This is part one of three hospital vlogs, so stay tuned for the other two. Also, if you haven't yet seen my accident story time, which is pretty much the first video of this entire series, please check that out. It will be right here in a card and it will also be on the end screen in another card where you can just click it and it will take you to that video. I'll see you guys on Saturday with the next video. Until then, do I still say stay golden? Stay golden!